like I was talking about in the last video, I was worried about these rafters and the snow load because there's more of this rafter hanging off the house than there is actually hanging over the top of the house. So I thought of a couple ideas to help with that, to help support it, make it stronger. Eventually this will all get covered in with some uh, probably plywood. So you won't see all this. It'll all be nice and smooth and it'll be flat for a while and then angle out. But that little two by four will take the pressure coming down on the roof and it'll transfer it that direction into the wall. And that's the two by four is there to kind of distribute some of that pressure. Because I don't, I know that not all these two by fours coming out are gonna land on a stud of the wall. So I, I didn't want them just pushing up against the OSB. So I put that piece of sheathing there, or that piece of two by four there on the outside of the sheathing. I'll take you upstairs to show you the other idea that I implemented into helping those rafters stay where I want them. This is the other idea that I had. It's not super strong, it's just plumber's tape, and it's looped up and around, going in between these two pieces of two by eight. And on the inside, it's actually attached to this bottom piece of two by eight. Here's where the plumber's tape comes through and screws down to that two by eight. Little screws, plumber's tape isn't super strong, but it adds a little bit if the snow comes off this upper rafter and comes down and lands down there past this wall. It's gonna add a lot of weight, especially if it's wet snow. It's gonna, it's gonna fall and have a lot of weight down there. I won't have that board down there to catch it. Obviously that's just so I can stand on something and see the roof, but the weight hitting down there, I didn't want these, these rafters to pop loose this way or possibly break. So that's why there's the two by four down there and the plumber's tape idea up here. I do have Simpson strong tie brackets holding these rafters to the house and the bird's mouth, putting them right on top of the wall. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but I'd rather not have a rafter break and have to rip into my house to fix it or possibly put a new rafter in. That's not my idea of fun. So I figure while I'm building, if I can think of an idea to make it stronger and possibly keep something from happening in the future, I might as well implement that idea now. I'm pretty happy with these two ideas. Neither one of them is gonna affect the aesthetics of the house. You're not gonna notice it. The soffit idea, I actually like more than just having a steep angle soffit that's covered in. I like having that flat spot at the top. Now most houses don't have this problem with the rafter tails hanging off so far that you're worried about them breaking off or in our case, pivoting off the roof. Most houses, I think the rafter tails come off about two feet and they're part of a longer board that goes all the way to the top. In our case, we wanted these rafter tails to come off further so that they'd block more of the summer sun from coming in these ginormous windows we have here that go all the way to the floor. Even with these rafter tails being three foot away from the house, to block that amount of sun, we're still getting about a foot of sun inside on the floor. The more sun we block during the summer from entering the house, the less heat we're trying to fight with to cool the house down. So we will have to put a shade I'm thinking about a foot down off of these rafter tails to block the rest of the sun from hitting the floor. I don't know if we're gonna worry about that or not. The house is gonna be really well insulated and having a little bit of direct sunlight come into the house might be kind of nice. So we will see. But that's the reason we have these long rafter tails is to block more of the sun from coming in these huge windows. I've got some company coming out later today, so I need to get back on the roofing of this house, get this done. Hopefully all this work I've done with these two by fours and this plumber's tape, strapping these rafters in, hopefully I keep those things up there. Until next time guys, go make something.